Hello guys, welcome to Ride by Peter Bradshaw channel. My name is Serge. In today's video, we're going to be looking at what kind of ride offers we're going to be getting on the Saturday out of all days at 3.23 p.m. So we want to look at time, obviously, uh, especially at this time, like normally you could get stuck in traffic during a weekday, but not on the weekend, hopefully. But this is Charlotte, North Carolina market. So in case you guys are interested, what kind of ride offers we get here, take a look. So let's go ahead and go online. We could zoom out. You could see what the area kind of looks like. And get this red offer, which is not good. Very quick little math. Tell me I'll get about $20 an hour probably doing that one. And that's that would be net. Uh, I mean, uh, gross, excuse me. So this right here would make it, uh, that's a comfort. Guys, that's a comfort right there. Uh, we don't want that. I'm just gonna take a picture of that. That's that's horrible. That a comfort, like you get a comfort electric vehicle. Um, I'm in a Tesla here. Uh, thank God, it's a rental. You know, I could always give it back. But, you know, you have all of these different options here. You got Uber Comfort Electric, which is also Uber Comfort and you get these ridiculous type of offers so this right here would take about 30 minutes to do for 861 so that's under 20 dollars an hour um you always have to take into account you might get stuck in a little traffic they always underestimate the actual time that will take you to complete the job um on top of that some people they're not prompt they're you know they like to waste your time they like to take their time to get out i had to cancel yesterday after waiting for five minutes and uh and 30 38 seconds um at one of the fast food places like it was already late apparently they were closing but i arrived there and just sat there and once i canceled literally about to pull off here, here she is getting out of the door and i said i'm sorry i already canceled i don't think you were coming i mean that's just it's just too late right there you know so um apparently you know you look at this map right and you see all this kind of like dark blue uh that just kind of tells you that these areas are somewhat busy and you could actually make money uh in these areas and then you come to an area like this and this is what you're faced with you barely have anything you know um and the red offers they still well, as you can see, I canceled too, right? But ride offers are almost non-existent. So the area shows it's been somewhat busy, I guess. Um, maybe there's other people working in these areas or maybe there's tons of requests coming in and they might be giving it to somebody else versus me since I'm over here canceling uh, all of these trips. So we got the airport right here, $3 signs showing that they're busy a little bit. So here we have 753. Basically, this would be about 25 minutes. We're not gonna take that as well. So I guess um, what I should have mentioned is uh, we're chair picking on a Saturday. Um, most days, um, like on the weekends, like if anytime you work after six. Um, it gets a little better you know a lot more people are going out and about and stuff like that and you could make a lot more money but lately i've been thinking about just not being a slave and when it starts getting dark like 10 30 p.m i set destination mode to go back to home sometimes i make it home by by 12 or you know like one o'clock um uh, mm, about 40 minutes for 10 10 dollars i don't want that the problem with uh cherry picking is that you'll sit there and just not make anything
yeah that's about like 40 minutes for that trip that is if i don't have to wait for anybody but you already know i'll have to end up waiting i don't want the short one either just go ahead and exit out lately i just don't have much patience when it comes to uh really working for uber it's just, it just doesn't seem like it uh, they value my time uh what it's worth um i'm showing you kind of like yesterday's income even though we're still cherry picking so i made 273 uh that's for two days because over here on the thursday i work for five hours and 12 minutes and this day um which is a friday i worked for seven hours 17 minutes for 155 dollars but as you could see somehow i made 40 dollars in tips okay you know tips are not always there like look at that friday i mean a thursday i just made five dollars in tips and over here i made 40 dollars in tips you want to know what the problem is here um 13 trips and then 13 trips uh here's a sort of like a price difference right but look at the time it has taken me on a friday seven hours 17 minutes while over here five hours and 12 minutes so i worked additional two hours here so let's just see for the heck of it see what the hourly rate is with tips and basically without tips and see uh what that really looks like and look 1398 again that's uh sucks we're not gonna do that um let's just go get the calculator out so we're gonna take 117 117 let's just divide that by five that's 23 dollars and 40 cents an hour let's just say 23 dollars and this is 155 155 divided by i'm just gonna do seven that's uh 22 dollars and 14 cents an hour here's a comfort pays a little more uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and take it you know normally i would not take stuff like this but i could see where it's going and it's being picked up at a lake dropping off at a lake who knows if that's going to result in a tip or not but um i'll let you guys know if it does or not thanks for watching guys take care and see you in the next video Bye bye